Hello everyone, welcome to our channel of Simplified Computer Science Concepts by Professor Rutusha. Today, here we will be learning Raman's Tree Algorithm in Distributed Systems. It is a token-based algorithm to achieve mutual exclusion in distributed systems. So let us see the basics of Raman's Tree Algorithm. It is a token-based algorithm to achieve mutual exclusion. Uh, all the processes or sites are arranged in a logical directed tree. So here if you see, uh, A uh, is, is holding the token and all the other nodes are pointing towards this uh, root node. And these edges are uh, nothing but they are directing the nodes towards this root. Now every site has a variable holder uh, that will point to the immediate neighbor node on the directed path towards root. So if D is considered, which is the immediate neighbor, it is B, uh, towards the path to root. So D, B, A. So at, from D, B, A, which is the next neighbor for D, it is B. Which is the next neighbor for B, it is A. So likewise. Uh, so tree is just an acyclic graph. So meaning that not possible to form a cyclic weight and if we are able to avoid cyclic weight then de deadlock will never happen into these types of systems. So the Raman tree follows uh, requesting the critical section, executing of that critical section and finally releasing that critical section. So here let us look at the illustration. Initially there are 8 nodes. All these 8 nodes will be arranged in a logical directed tree form. So here it is uh, arranged in a logical tree form. Uh, B is red because it is holding the token and that is why it is the root. Arrows are nothing but the holder which holds the address of the immediate node in the path towards the root node. So each node is maintaining a queue. So initially all the queues are empty. Then node G here, now node G wants to access a critical section. So here node G is wanting to act access the critical section uh, b is having a token which means b is into the critical section so what will happen g will send a request to immediate node that is h first it will update its own uh, name into its queue then it will send a message to h uh, telling that i want to access critical section and please update my name into it your queue so g will be now updated into h h will in turn send a message to b and it will update the queue of b by h now <coughs> b um, b after b uh, utilizes the critical section it will send it to the b will send the token to h the to token is with h and uh, the queue of B which was earlier filled with H is now empty as the token is now with H. Now uh, in the queue of H what is there G that means the token needs to be passed to node G. So uh, in the next step uh, the token is now passed to G and the uh, queue uh, at H is also empty. Now node E makes the request. When E makes the request, it will pass on the request to its neighbor uh, on the directed path that is C. So first it will update itself, then it will pass uh, its own name to C. Then C will pass, uh, so at the same time node D also makes a request. <coughs> so D is making a request. D updates itself into its queue. It will send it to its neighbor in the directed path, which is the neighbor C. So this queue at C will update and D will be appended at the queue of C. Now next node C makes a request. So C also makes a request for critical section. So it updates itself into the queue. And now it will send, the C will send uh, the request to B 
and update itself into the B's queue. The B will send request to H and update B into its queue. And H will send the request of B to G uh, and update itself into G. Which means, the, which means that whenever G will return the token, it will return to H. So see here, G has returned the token to H. Now the content of at uh, Q of H is B. That means the token needs to be passed to B. Now the token is passed to B. The Q of H is empty. The Q of B is C that means the token is returned to C so the token is returned to C and the contents at C are E D C now which one is at the top of the uh, Q it is E that means the token needs to be passed to E so here if you see the token is passed to E and again it will maintain uh, the label or the name of its root node or the neighboring node that means C. So E will return the node to C. So E is returning the node to C and at the top of the queue at C it is D. That means C will again pass this token to D. D will be removed from the queue and C is updated at D. Why? Because the parent of D is C, so it has to return the token to C. Now D returns the token to C and both the queues are now empty. So this is how the Raymond's tree algorithm works with the help of token passing mechanism. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Simplified Computer Science Concepts by Professor Rutuja. If you have any doubts, please enter into the comment box. I will be happy to solve your doubts. Thank you once again for watching the video.